or what it is or what's up i've joined the youtube club god damn okay <laughs> welcome to my youtube channel guys i am no other than the honorable the mentioned that doesn't make sense gilly mamudu ja blessings are for my life my thank god for the journey the earnings that just for the plus yeah and gratitude is a must yeah me say blessings for all by my right hand what's that to us for the friends that they call for been lord one time did sit down in a class and we put them all in the road and we go on with the road Welcome to my channel. I'm super duper 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 excited to be coming to y'all, to you guys' living room, to you guys' room, bathroom, wherever you guys may be watching me. Be, you know, more than welcome to subscribe, comment, uh, stay notified, like. I, I said that so out of order. People usually say like, comment, subscribe, whatever. As you can see by the title today, we're getting into a get to know me tag. Okay, so, but... Before we get into that, I would like to start off by a positive note because, first of all, due to the um, situations that's been going on in the past couple of months, days, everything, it's just been a really, really hard time for everybody around, not just America, but the world, you know what I'm saying? So, like, um, in general, we just need positive vibrations. I'm really big on positive vibrations, you know? So, like, I would really, really appreciate it if you guys would go in the comments and just share something that may have, ha may have happened to you, someone you know, or not even just something that happened. Maybe just something a little quick pick-me-up, you know, because it makes me feel good. It makes everybody else feel good. And then we can just spread the love, you know what I mean? So, a nice little quick pick-me-up that helps me up really just to start my day off and how I just like to start up moving my day is a little quick fun fact. It's like a little positive fun fact. A little trinkle of positivity. But um, did y'all know that it takes more muscles to frown than to smile? So unless y'all just want a little exercise for y'all face, is it the other way around? <laughs> it's bad to smile so no if you guys want a little exercise on your face go ahead and frown but to be honest the lazier you're feeling just cheese without further ado let's get into it yeah get into it okay so the first question is why did you start no why did you choose this youtube name okay my name is gilly mamudu ja if that didn't make it clear you guys will get used to that and you guys will all call me that you know what i'm saying i'm really proud of my name you know so it's like uh, pride goes a long way so with how i express my pride especially is with my name when people start calling me that too much where it became my brand kind of like you know like i like africans african americans everybody calls me gilly mamudu ja you know what i'm saying where are you from so I was born in Muriteni. Yeah, I was born in Muriteni uh, in Joel. I'm Futenke, which I'll get into that in some other videos of what that means. But it's, uh, well, I was raised in Ohio though, so that's kind of boring. Uh, do you speak any other languages? Yes, I speak Pular, aka Fulani, aka Pil, aka Tikler. <laughs> No, no, no. Okay, I'm Fulani, so I speak Fulani. No, but don't. Bandarad. So I'll get into some like ethnicity things with you guys, you know. Share a little bit of my culture, who I am, and who I embody in the future. Inshallah. How old are you? I am big 21. Honestly, I was really hesitant about saying my age on here. Just because there's some big creepos out there. Next question. What is your zodiac sign? I am a Pisces. The coolest the coolest zodiac sign honestly out there baby we the chillest we the realest <laughs> what do you want to name your kids okay so this question i wanted to add this on there because it was like a little funny little story it's like a cute little story i wanted to name my kids based off of <laughs> this is gonna act this is gonna sound so goofy but please bear with me to the end ask questions in the end so okay so I wanted to name my kids off of the cast of Lion King. And here is why. When I watched Lion King, it was pretty late in my life. It's kind of sad. But <laughs> after that, I became so obsessed, bro. I was so obsessed with Lion King. And so I was like, I'm going to name my kids this for this very reason. So the first child, it was going to be Rafiki. So Rafiki is the monkey, the chill monkey. That's like my spirit animal. That's like my favorite character of all time. So like Rafiki, he's, a, you know, I wanted him to be the oldest, Mufasa. 
So Mufasa, he, you know, he's going to be before Simba, obviously. Mufasa, Simba, and then Simba. So here's why I wanted Rafiki and Zazu and Mufasa to be first. Which, honestly, if you were kind of, your grades were grinding, you would understand. So Rafiki, I want him to be the oldest because he's going to, he was the one that lifted Simba, right? Didn't he? Okay. So for obvious reasons, he's going to be the oldest, so he lifts Simba. And I said I was going to do all this at the hospital. This is going to be like a little ceremony and everything. So then Zazu, you know, he was the messenger and stuff. He was over there like, you know, getting his little fly on. Mufasa, obvious reasons, he's older than Simba, obviously. That was the daddy. And then Simba, you know. And I said that I was going to have this all videotaped on top of the hospital so he could like share this and show and tell and everything like that. But then I realized later that's probably nuts. But then I was like, you know, if my if my future husband inshallah does not agree with um have having those names as their first names, then that's gonna be their middle names. So we'll see how I'm feeling when I get married. What are your goals and aspirations in life? Okay, so I am currently a biology major and uh I would like to go into uh PA school. So after PA school and everything like that, inshallah by the will of God. My goal is to study herbal medicine and basically my goal is to be a humanitarian next question who are your fashion inspirations i will start off by saying i'm in competition with myself i am my own inspiration i'm just playing but my biggest fashion inspiration what i look to for it was at this moment where i've had enough these lashes are literally the devil and quite frankly this is a quite intimate moment right here so scratchy scratchy crustaceans away on to the other side and one two three Woo! I feel so good. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. When I dress, I honestly look to the ancient queens. That's my biggest inspiration. So when you see me probably posting a whole bunch of pictures on Instagram and everything like that, you see that I put Queen Nefertiti and everything. That's who I put as my love. You know how Megan Thee Stallion got Tina Snow and like Nicki Minaj got Roman? It's like my alternative person. You know what I'm saying? So like the first people I look to is the ancient queens of Egypt or the ancient queens period. Like anything African based though. That's really when I'm just like dressing, dressing. Like if I'm going out, like if I'm big stepping, you know what I'm saying? Like if I'm big stepping, like big meech, mm-hmm. Big meech. Big meech. Uh, big stepping. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm big Boy, if you don't get Ancient queens of Africa. I woke up like this. Period. You know, the head wraps. My, you know, when I do like the my capes and my things, but I can't tell me nothing. My like regular fashion and stuff like that. I look to a lot of like the hijabi bloggers and stuff like that, like the fashionista ones. So like uh people like Mkoya on Instagram, uh Brenny, uh Oh my God, Neelam is my biggest one. Neelam is definitely my biggest one. Yeah, she's she's also a rapper, so y'all should check her out. So I'm also like into the, like the whole '90s kind of gag, so y'all will see that as well. Most embarrassing moment. There are so many. Senior year of high school, I had it was like a senior night for orchestra night, and I had like a little speech, you know, to talk about the teachers and stuff like that. Boy. Okay, so I had a ponytail, right? This is before I started covering my hair. So I had a ponytail. That hole was loose. I'm saying. So, like, <laughs> the camera person literally was zooming into the ponytail, too. That's the that's the cockiest part about my school. Like, they were literally zooming into the ponytail. And so, I'm just speaking, right? All of a sudden, you hear silence. And then, boom. My ponytail's on the floor. I feel nothing. Like, literally, I just felt a whole bunch of air on the back of my neck. And I was like... <laughs> baby i took that cape because they gave us capes for our senior gifts or whatever i took that cape put that on my head ran backstage my friend jay ran backstage my best friend jay, she literally ran all the way from the audience backstage clipped that ponytail tight as hell i came right back out getting weak and continued that speech because baby i'm a real og <laughs> so, you know. next question is how tall are you um this one's gonna be really deceiving to some so i have really long legs and no torso I am five five and three quarters. So yes, I'm not as tall as I may seem. How long have you been covering your hair and why? So I've covered my hair now for roughly like two years now. Yeah, it's been about like two, maybe two and a half, almost three, pushing three. Um, yeah, so for why, basically it was just for spiritual reasons. Like, you know, I was doing a lot of things I was not proud of. So 
it's just like it was kind of like a fresh start as I was starting into some more journeys into my life and so far no regrets alhamdulillah okay so the next question is what do you do outside of YouTube okay so um I'm a direct support professional so essentially I help out I work in homes with uh, DD adults so develop adults with developmental disability and um, yeah so I work a lot I also work at the state house I'm a Senate page and um, yeah school like honestly my biggest go-to like if I would do all that stuff outside of like the mandatory things honestly it's putting outfits together I love putting outfits together like even if I don't have the outfits myself like online and stuff like that I just love putting outfits together so I'm so excited to share that part of my life with y'all and I'm um, also getting into reading right now I finished I just finished what uh, reading disclosure full disclosure by Cameron Brown what the hell? Cameron Garrett <laughs> But in that time, what the hell was your purpose? I'm making a video. What did you do outside? Huh? What did you just outside? I was not outside. But who was that? Yeah, I don't know what drugs you've been using. That was Jane outside. And he was talking to her. You're literally on drugs. I'm. I've been sitting here making a video. Okay, so back to it. I just finished reading a book called Full Disclosure by Cameron Garrett, and I definitely recommend it. It's definitely a good read, especially now. And um, I'm on Americana now that I'm about to watch, I mean, read um, the autobiography of Malcolm X and next Purple Hibiscus, inshallah. So I just have like this whole plan of trying to read better, read more, not better, I can read, inshallah. <laughs> Oh, I played the violin as well, but I probably wouldn't play for you guys just because that's kind of like a personal kind of thing. Um, yeah, I do a lot of like zen kind of things too. Next question is what made you start a YouTube? Okay, so honestly, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I never wanted to start a YouTube. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. <clears throat> I originally was just like, you know, everyone's starting YouTube and I just seem like I'm just following a trend. And I'm, I'm so big on not following trends. I'm so big on that. But essentially, it's just like, you know, like before I even made it, I made a video on Instagram and stuff like that just with my skincare routine. And like everyone, like a lot of people, I have some really good feedback about it. So like a lot of people were just like, you know, you need to start a YouTube channel, you start a YouTube channel. So I like, I hated my friends and stuff like that. I'm like, y'all know me more. Like, do y'all think I can do it? And they're like, yeah, so shout out to y'all. And I'm so excited. Like, I'm super duper excited to like share with you guys all this content and just to get into the nitty gritty of things so that's all the questions i have for you guys here today and thank you guys so much for watching if you guys haven't already please i would really appreciate it if you guys would send a positive note down there you know because especially in the time we're in right now that's what many people need more than anything so you know share anything you feel share worthy share positive notes share great notes tell me what's been going on i'm just playing i ain't up there please subscribe like comment post notifications if you haven't already boom no no what the hell is that boom for <laughs>